You're watching Black. <laughs> You're watching Black Eric D. Nice on YouTube. Did you not hear that? That thing said, F-165, if you don't like it, go. <laughs> it's ES350. I put brakes on the front some time ago. Brakes and rotors. The uh, Wagner brake pads. I don't remember what kind of rotors. Some cheap rotors, but they were Wagner brake pads. And we're going to put Wagner brake pads on the back. So I guess I'll just show y'all where to jack this thing up. When you put brakes on the back of a car, don't put the parking brakes on. Sometimes your parking brake is hooked to the brake caliper. It wasn't on this car, but still you don't want to put a brake caliper on because it will sometimes expand the rotor if it's got the brake pads the brake shoes that's inside the rotor putting on a brake pad putting on a parking brake could expand that rotor uh i'm almost positive this had it inside the rotor because it wasn't on a brake pad so it had to be some i mean a brake caliper all right guys if i were jacking this car up i would come on this side and i would look for something sturdy to jack on you can't use this body panel here this is not gonna work that's plastic that right there looks like a good spot right there that's a brace so i think that would be safe first i need to turn the damn jack closed before i can get the jacks on huh I don't see any flexing. See, so yeah, I think it's pretty strong, whatever that is. Yeah, that's gonna, it ain't no flexing. Yeah, that, that, that'll be perfect right there. And I'll probably put the jack stand right there. Ain't all the way up yet. First of all, let's move the jack stand to, in case the car slip or something, I don't want it to. All right, so this is where we're gonna put the jack stand. Now, some people say you should let the jack down on. First of all, I got some lines right there. I don't wanna hit those lines. So I'm gonna put it right there. I'm not gonna let the jack down. It's gonna ease down on its own. It may ease down on its own. But anyway, I think that would be safe right now. I want to show you another alternative place you can put your, your um, jack stand. Now, this is a real light duty rear suspension. You can damage this thing real easy if you put it in the wrong spot. I believe because of how sturdy this is, I believe it could go right down if it's high enough. And I'm getting ready to find out. You're gonna jack it up. I'm gonna put it under this arm. Cause this rut is hooked right here. And it's gonna keep that from turning. You can't put it here cause these are bent, but this is pretty tough. And I think it's gonna work. Let's see what happens. We're gonna let the jack down slow. Actually, let me put it out and turn. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. You can put your jack stand there. I'm gonna show you all the places you can put it. Well, actually, that's probably the. Like I said, don't put it on the arm. You put it on that arm, it's gonna bend. That muffler is blocking you from putting it up there where the exhaust pipe is. You can't put it on this because it'll do the same thing. Remember I said you can't put the arm here because it'll bend, but you can put it here. If you had a jack stand or a piece of wood or whatever, this arm goes down to this knuckle here. This right here is strong enough to supply the weight. Notice again, you can kind of see how tough this is right here. So you can't put it here because you're bent it, but you can put it right here if you had something or if you jacked the car up high enough. I'm sorry. If you jacked the car up high enough, you can put it under this. But you can't put it on this bar. And it's, it's going to be kind of hard to get to this. So the best place to put it is either here, over here. Uh, that's about the only place you can put it back here on this car. If you had, if you had something tall enough to reach there, just say if you had, I don't know, a bottle jack, you could probably put it here because that's part of the frame. It could probably handle right there. But the best place to put it is right here. This is probably the safest place to put it right here. And it's pretty tough. Or you can do like I did the first time. You put it on that area right there. Again, you can't put it on the bar, but you can put it up right here at the mountains part or right there. Those are the places you can put your jack without damaging the car. I don't remember the size. Look, we're gonna try 19. 19 is too small, so let's try 20. 20 too small. 21. I wanna show y'all something. Okay, most, I'm not going to say most mechanics, but apparently the people at Discount Tire, they don't understand the difference between a tight fitting socket and one that's too large. Now this is the 22 millimeter. It fits this lug nut, but it's got too much play in it. Well, Discount Tire, apparently those people, as long as it grips, they assume it's the right size socket. You don't want your socket moving this much. See that little bit of, that's too much play. Even though it grips, it's too much play. You don't want your socket to do that. So you want, like again, this is 22 millimeter. You want to go down one more. This is 21. And see how much tighter that fit? But apparently, Stupid people, they figured that that's the right socket because it grips it. And I even had someone to say that um, if you go one size up, it's not going to grip the, the lug nut. Apparently it does. So we want to use a 21. Now, I don't know if these one piece lugs or not, but you can damage them if you use the wrong size.
Okay, guys. Oh, I hope these ain't the damn calipers you got to um, screw in. God, I hope these ain't the kind. I forgot to watch the video. Okay, guys, I took my screwdriver and I put it right here. And I was able to, to pull the caliper back. So, no, I don't think I will need a special tool to compress the caliper, but I will need a shorter screwdriver. Yep, you just pull them in. That's probably a, got a bolt here and a bolt here. I'm not replacing the rotors. They are not too bad. I mean, it's got a slight ridge on the edge. They're pretty. I mean, you can see a little line, but that's pretty decent. She said that she just wanted the rotors, the pads replaced. So I'm not going to take the bracket off. I'm just going to loosen up this bolt. I don't know. It feels like it's a 12 or 13 and lift this up. Yeah, I must be getting old, guys. Hey, somebody didn't tighten that one too tight at all. But it was still holding it. That one wasn't that tight either. But it was still holding it. I would have put them a little tighter. Yeah, we can't roll it over because the brake line won't allow me. I guess I'll just take it all the way off. Oh yeah, this is this is regular red caliper. All you gotta squeeze it in. Now I might not squeeze it in all the way. I might have did. All right, we're gonna just sit the caliper right there. Brake pads are worn down, but they're not worn down too bad. I mean, they are bad, but they're not hitting. You know what, I got a feeling I got the wrong brake pads for this car, I think. These are Wagner brake pads. If you're not gonna buy a Toyota or Lexus pad, buy Wagner. We got a new hardware kit. Am I gonna use it? I don't know. You got grease for your slide pins. Ooh, that one's stiff. Ooh, might have to clean this one. Yeah, this one I might have to clean. Yeah, that one needs to be cleaned off. This one right here moves a lot easier. Yeah, I think I'm gonna clean this one off and jeez. Clean it off and um, put it back in. Either that they put put the wrong one in. Sometimes people put the wrong the wrong one in. I don't know which one originally came. I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna clean this off and re-grease it. Just need to take a paper towel. Yes, I do use grease for these, not for the back of the pad. Did somebody put grease on the pad? Probably not. But let's pull the grease to one side. We're gonna squeeze out some. I'm 
on. Come on. Jesus, gonna come out of what? Well, don't put a lot in here, dude. Now, do you have to put it all over here? Well, that part has got to go in anyway, so it should. Uh, it still seems stiffer than this one. Do I need to breathe this one? Jeez, man, let it go. Notice this one does not have that rubber piece on it. Now, did somebody put it in backwards? Let's see. Jeez. Let's see. Okay, it won't work. It's this one won't even go in, so that's right. It goes there. And let's put grease on this one. Alright, so we're gonna grease that one. And I gotta go change gloves now. Oh hell. I might have enough for the other side. We'll see. I thought it was the wrong pass, but no, they ain't pretty decent. They small pads. Is this on? Yeah, they look like they'll work. That's how much difference they got. Are these good pads? I have no idea. Okay, now, am I going to change the hardware kit? Now, people will say, well, Black, you put new brake pads on. You need to change the hardware kit. Guys, The purpose of the hardware kit is to allow the brake pads to slide and hold. These pads are sliding and they are holding. They're sliding and they're holding. So I'm not going to replace the hardware kit. Should I? You know what? Let's go ahead and replace the hardware kit. I hope these don't be hard to come off. I call hell replacing the front ones. That don't seem too hard. Find the matching. Yeah, let's go ahead and replace it. Oh yeah, something I forgot last time. You want to clean this off. Let me take a little brake cleaner. If it was my car, I wouldn't did it. Take a little brake clean. There's a little bit of a difference. There's no rust. So I guess if you had some rust, you probably need a a um, brush to get rid of the rust and the new hopefully it'll pop back in there really I hate replacing these damn things
you know what guys i've been putting it on wrong you need to put the put the bottom part in first that's what i did i put it in wrong hey i'm glad i did change the hardware kit why did they give me so many why did they give me so many and it gave me oh this is the wear indicators i think these i think this is the wear indicator i think we ain't gonna worry about the wear indicator why they give me so many i ain't i got i got four are they different sizes No, they look the same. I don't know why they gave me so many? They look the same. So again, we want to put the bottom part in first. It goes like that. And the brake pads, uh, do I have to mention, do not put grease here, do not put grease here, do not put grease here, do not put grease there. Grease does not go there. Okay, you put them in like that and you turn them. Boy, I call hell with the front ones. Might have to push that part down, might have to push that part up. But you put them in like that. And you turn them. Stop making any kind of noise. This road is smoother than the other side. Hey, ah, that's, that's how your brakes work. Okay. Now, am I gonna have to compress this? Yep, it's not in all the way. But guess what? You can use your finger. Push that in, push that in. Okay, something, something don't feel right. Oh, I guess that's it. Didn't feel right at first. One bolt. Second bolt. Jeez, it's easy once you do it. Yep, it's a lot easier after you do it. All right. Again, how much torque do you put on? It's a 13 or it's a 14 millimeter bolt. Put that much torque. That's much torque. Guys, I've just completed putting brake pads on the rear of a 2012. Lexus ES350. Is everything gonna work right? And I changed the hardware kit, y'all. Stay on. I think I'm gonna put this one lug in and 
clamp this down. I ain't got to worry about it coming off again. Come to think of it, that's the way you want to put the lug on. Put one on, make sure this is flat, and tighten up that lug. Don't tighten it up all the way. Actually, I did tighten it up all the way, but I made sure this was flat. Right, we're going to try to go opposite. Opposite. Alright, when your lugs are doing this, they need to be oil. Get some WD-40. Don't take a lot. Just put a little bit. Not a lot. When you put brakes on the car, the first time you step on the brakes, they're gonna go to the flow. Well, this didn't go all the way to the flow because they're on the back. If it's on the front, it's damn sure gonna go to the flow. So I'm getting ready to test drive to see did I do anything wrong? Oh, hell yeah. They were bad. Yeah, they hadn't hit. Come back to the Cadillac, I'll show you. You wanna see them? Yeah. Yeah, come back to the Cadillac. 